I'm Julius Peppers, and this is my three point stance. Today, we're going to talk about the San Francisco 49ers and quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to talk about some of the things that's showing up on the film and um, try to see if we can figure out who these guys are and what they like to do. This team is showing us a little bit um, something different because they're lining up in a lot of 21 personnel. That's two running backs and one tight end. Normally, when you see a team line up in 21 personnel, it's more of a downhill attack. That's not necessarily the case with this team. They're using the fullback and a lot of lead situations to try to secure the edge. They want to consistently attack the perimeter, and they're using the fullback and some of the tight ends to try to, to, try to uh, accomplish that. Being that they are a run-heavy team, we want to note that the personnel that they employ is very fast and very speedy. On the first play against the Browns, you, you'll see the short motion right here with the fullback. Um, we call this play the Falcon. Um, Atlanta used to run this a lot. They started this back in the day uh, with Warwick Dunn and um, some of their other running backs. It, it opens up a really big lane right here. Breeder gets out on the open field and he blows past the defense. Being that they have Coleman, who is from Atlanta, and they have Breida, they want to get these guys on the edge. They want to attack the perimeter, get these guys out on the edge in space. So you're going to see a lot of tosses, sweeps, outside zone stuff to try to give these, these guys the opportunity to find these creases and exploit them for big gains. And they will come out and have a particular run that they want to attack you with. Cleveland, it was the Falcon. Against the Rams, it was more inside zones and lead stretch. Against Pittsburgh, it was outside zone and a lot of lead stuff, lead Mike and lead toss. Attack the perimeter, get the defense flowing, let the running back find it and cut back. So they, they will come into the game with a bucket of runs that they're going to run for that game and try to test you with. Jimmy Garoppolo has been in the league for six years, but he's only started 16 games. He's been slowed down by injury, and he also was a backup for a while in New England. I see him being effective on a short to intermediate type passes. He's not one to push the ball down the field. Um, I think. A lot of that is because they don't necessarily have a star wide receiver on the outside. And also they have a great tight end in number 85, George Kittle. So he's targeting him a lot. So it's no surprise that a lot of his production is coming in the middle of the field because that's where his best player is. That's one of the balls that he threw that was a pretty good ball right here, right over the top of the linebacker, in between the safeties. He, sh he shows really good touch on these type of throws, these seam routes. Overall, I think Garoppolo is doing some good things, making some good throws, and he's a good presence for this young team. But I think the key to beating a team like this is limiting the explosive runs and shutting down their running game, which is what they really want to do. Thanks for watching. See you next time.